Hey love folks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, um, just thank you for being able to have the support. Um, our channel, the channel and our family community is growing so fast and it's truly a blessing for us to keep adding people towards our way to be able to share the love, the wisdom, and the knowledge and just the, the positive vibes that's going through the channel is truly a blessing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, um, if you feel like the videos are giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a fam loved one, family, or friend, or even if all empath are going through some trying times right now and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even their soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. And I hope you're able to, um, you know, uh, relate to the video resonate relate whatever to the video um let me see my music today that i'm listening to is called restart your life new beginnings quantum angelic uh miracle healing sleep nine hour sleep sleeping music and i will post that link in the description box below i'm gonna go ahead and push up these vibes because i would love these vibes in the video and today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Uh, Moon of Gemini brings brings on the new chapter. These are the signs. And yes, I'm going to tell you about different signs that are coming along. So it's just like a lot of us empaths uh, are just really going through some different things. Um, more things are coming towards your way. You know, a lot of us are coming more into other uh, gifts that are coming in. There's a lot of different other... Uh, you know extended family I've been talking to you been they're going through some different things and it's like with the new chapter coming up all different crazy stuff is going to go willy wonk I'm just telling you this now so if you're going through things things are starting to break down you know um family are starting to walk away you know uh people that supported us like financially emotionally some of them are stepping back cutting things off i've had this situation because universe is allowing you to know you know we we were here to guide that help towards you you know help you with the you know my, my materialistic situations or just you know different situations because it's like you're being that baby bird and you have the mother nest, you know, feeding you, clothing you, you know, being able to know that you're well protected. We're still well protected, you know, by our angels and um, what is it? Ascended masters and stuff like that, the universe and creator, you know, but they're allowing us to be able to separate for you to be able to say, you know what? A new chapter starting. So you can't keep doing the same old things you've been doing after chapter, after chapter, after chapter. We've been giving you signs, visions, you, you're, um, your gifts are very heightened. You've probably been getting these high-pitched, you know, ping noises in your ear, discombobulated, thinking that you're going through vertigo-type situations. Even people have been coming out with, like, the psychic flu and stuff like that. So different changes are coming along. And um, where, you, you know, you might feel disor disoriented or discombobulated or whatever, um, to where your their universe is allowing you to, you know, if people are going in panic mode, like, I can't do this, I can't do that. We can't we can you know if you believe in yourself you know you have things coming towards your way i keep telling people you know i know that it has to suck when certain things are not going how they used to because now you're having to take responsibility for your decisions you have to take responsibility for your livelihood all these different things um so they're allowing you to be able to know that you know better days are coming through you know, you have to be able to allow these things to go through. So it's like if they're taking something out, they're replacing it with something better. And I tell people, just believe in yourself. Whatever you love the most that you know you can find interest in, especially with your gift. If you know something can, you know, uh, collaborate with the gifts you have that can help you in a monetary value, 
go do it. You know, I'm doing the things that I'm doing and being able to, you know, see my gift past a lot of things. You know, there are so many people that have been drawn to talk to me one on one. And I love that. I love the fact that I can be able to help somebody give them positive feedback, being able to give them that confidence saying you are stronger than you realize. I had to go through that myself as well. So there's more things I have to take responsibility for me. You know, my ex, he's, you know, even though I go through a, uh, you know, a dark relationship with him, I toxic situation you know he's always made sure you know the bills and stuff were taken care of you know I've been trying to find jobs went on interviews nobody called me back you know filling out you know different applications still didn't get any received back you know all these different things are going on and I started panicking because you know I asked the universe look you know I'm doing what I'm you know I'm doing what you tell me to do I'm looking out for jobs but obviously they don't want me doing these different jobs well you know things happen to where you know the jobs is not supposed to be coming about or there's thing is going to be coming in but it's going to be right when you least expect it because there's so many different blessings that are trying to aim towards your way that is starting a new chapter in your life so you may get a new job or you might have money come in for yourself or you know you might be able to start your own business and more things are you know there's a loophole that came up towards you and it's a blessing that you weren't even expecting you know, so Gemini, we just had Taurus the day before yesterday. So the moon of Gemini is bringing in all these things. You're, you know, you're having to pay attention because you're all these gifts that are coming in. A lot of the ancient ones are helping you. They're popping switches. And I keep seeing, you know, these, you know, these older elders that are behind us and hitting the switch. And I'm like, oh, oh. Ooh, 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 you have new, you have new gifts coming in that you weren't even aware of. You might've known something was going on with you because things, when you woke up the either yesterday morning or the day before that, it seemed like it was really off and so just shifted because we've been going through so many dark situations. You're at that point. Like, you know what? Look, I'm tired. I'm not about to keep going through these same things that I've been going through. I'm not going to sit up here and respond the way I've been responding. I'm not going to sit up here and take in because I tell people, you know, we are only responsible for our own actions. We can't be responsible about how people treat us unless, you know, you tell them, hey, you're going to either respect me or you're going to leave me the hell alone. Point blank. You got to keep fighting. You ain't got to keep arguing or, you know, bumping heads with anybody, period. These are all a new day. <laughs> a new chapter in your life so you're having that love care and respect for yourself you're learning your worth you're coming into your worth so all these different things that are coming about that Gemini it was like a blessing my, my mom and my dad you know my mom is like two years younger than my dad and they're like 10 days apart you know me and my dad are like you know 18 years 19 days apart so all these different things are popping off you know, um, with my family, my mom, my adopted mom that passed, you know, she's been really uh, helping me through a lot of things that I'm dealing with right now. And I'm coming into my, my gifts because it's like people that I'm on one-on-one -on -one with. If there's something really strong, like if I'm solely connected to you on Soul Family, which I feel like I'm connected to all y'all one way or another because something's guiding you towards my channel. For you to be able to look, there are so many different things that are occurring in your life that you're trying to figure out. You're trying to understand, is this a label? You know, I'm going through these things. Do they have a label for it? Or why am I going through these things? Or why are these things occurring? And then boom. Somebody sends you towards my channel. Either somebody that mentioned it to you or I was in the recommendations or whatever. Whatever it was, it's just a blessing to me that I'm able to meet you. So it's just like all these different things are coming about. You know, you're coming into your power. You're coming into your strength. You know, you might have not had confidence on certain things that were occurring in your life. You felt like, oh God, I can't do this. You know, I'm on my own. I can't do this. Yes, you can. Because if you start manifesting, because a lot of y'all are starting to manifest. I know I can say a name. It was like a certain name that came up. And I, I showed my soul sister that I was saying it for two days. Next thing you know, I watched another YouTube video that popped up on my recommendation. And then they said the same name. And I was like, oh, snap it out. Let me go ahead and, you know, record this real quick and send it to my soul sister. And I'm like, girl, do you hear this? You remember I was saying this yesterday and today. I said, like, why do I keep hearing this name? Why do I keep hearing this name? And so forth, this, that, and the third. So a lot of us are manifesting a lot of things. You know, I said, I'm at that point where I'm tired of going through the things that I'm going through. You know, universe is telling me a lot of things. You have to be able to let things go. You have to let go of the old so the new can come in. Because a lot of y'all keep seeing a lot of impasse and, and the door slam shut. Don't go back to that damn door. <laughs> if God and universe shut it, leave it alone. 
Just wait your butt at that other door. So when they get right open that door, you'll be up front and attention because you keep focusing on that door to the old path. You're going to miss your blessings doing that. So don't do that. You know, I have to tell myself, stop talking about the negative stuff. If it's not applying anything that's going to elevate you or educate you or keep you at a high frequency, leave it alone. Because I count myself doing something like, ah, you know, trying to use a different example for somebody to be able to help them because I went through a certain situation. And it's like I had to keep telling myself, you can allow them to know what you had to do, but don't engage in what actually happened because that's like you going through that same exact situation again and it's going to keep going resurfacing resurfacing in your mind thought process and it's like the universe is trying to tell you to drop that stuff so you can allow all this other good stuff to come through so going through all these different things you have to really pay attention where is your thought process at where are you focusing on your energy at where is the energy coming from you know there's a lot of people coming in to your life is probably seeking closure or you i mean you just have to part ways with them because there's probably a lot of people that are coming in from your past saying hey you know i ain't talked to you in a minute and if you had um unfinished business with them you know that's the part of seeking closure either you need to say what you have to say if you knew this was a healthy relationship stay in touch with them obviously the universe is sending them towards your way for a reason nothing is never a coincidence and nothing is never an accident so you have to be able to pay attention to that and i must be on some really you know good content because my nose starting to itch because uh, you know all these different things are coming around i said i can thank god i didn't have that recently but i know some people are around me they're dealing with some you know old closures that they either need to you know hold close because this friend is coming back they might need your help assisting with something you you're uplifting yourself you're coming into things you weren't able to see before or at least you probably got messages that things you know were occurring but these things couldn't occur if you kept doing the same thing you were doing you can't keep going the same way you did with stuff before your spiritual awakening you can't keep going reacting towards things you have to always remember nothing can happen if you don't allow it to happen you know if somebody's trying to piss you off they can't piss you off unless you allow them to piss you off if there's people who do i'm like look we ain't about to do this you know this is making me uncomfortable this is leaving me at a low frequency this is really bringing drama towards me and i'm trying not to scalp your ass we either gonna talk right talk like you got some sense talk we're gonna talk cordial grown folks or we gonna go you gonna stay on your lane i'm gonna stay on mine <laughs> and i'm just point blank leaving it at that i'm at that i'm you know i'm on a new age new me type of situation I got too many blessings to be worrying about some stuff that's not going to elevate me. And you have to be the same way. You have to have that same pro thought process because some people might come with you some negative stuff. Don't engage in that because if it's not elevating you, paying a bill, you know, making you famous and still paying a bill, don't engage in that. You're like, oh, I didn't hear that. But, you know, I, I, I got more things going on that I don't have to focus on that. So, you know, all these different things. So it's just like a lot of, of different surfaces are starting to be, you know, out of your life. If it has anything negative or it's just the fact that you've been dealing with an emotional moment for so long. It's finally allowing you to see things for what they are. And like I told y'all the other day, we are all playing a role in our own little movie. It can either be a comedy where every day don't think is funny around you. It can be a horror movie where everything is just scary as hell to you. Or it can be an action adventure where you leaving cliffhangers left and right. It's your role. It's your movie. You're the author of your book. You have to write it the way you want it to. You know what you're wanting in your life. You know what things you got occurring in your life. You know what you're working towards. So if that, that BS ain't, you know, that petty stuff is not helping you or those folks that's coming towards your way is not elevating you, is not, you know, you know, cheering you on and stuff like that, bye. You tell them bye. You, you on a new mission. You pray for them and keep it moving. So I hope, you know, everybody's getting their new chapter. I know I'm starting mine. It's just, I don't know where mine's taking me, but I'm just at that point where, you know, if it's not elevating me or keeping me in a good, you know, in a good vibe, I'm not even going to go dip, dip in it. So there's a lot of times when you're dealing with negative, toxic situations, you have to be able to snip it, know your boundaries and don't even engage in it. Cause some, you know, some folks are just jug you when you don't want to be jugged. So 
unless you into that freaky stuff but you know that that's a whole new different channel and i ain't even about to go there but i hope you you are able to enjoy this i hope that everybody gets everything that they are working hard for you're seeing things coming in fusion you already know that there's things that's about to pop off on you and you don't know and it's supposed to be a good thing so whatever you've been working on for a good good amount of time things are gonna come forth to you don't ever worry about what people pray upon because there's a lot of people that wants to see your downfall don't just pray for those folks and you keep doing you because if you're so focused on you you ain't gonna be worried about what them folks doing over there because they're gonna still keep doing the same thing they're doing while you're doing your stuff and leveling up so you allow yourself to get what you need to get do what you need to do because your gifts are getting heightened your other gifts are starting to be popped onto the switch you have your ancestors and ancient ones over here assisting you in a lot of things you probably hear them in your dreams you're probably getting visions if you're you know daydreaming a lot you know, you catch yourself spacing out a lot. All these different things are occurring in your life that the Gemini moon is going to be bringing towards your way. And it probably intensify later on tonight. I'm getting hot and cold flashes. I've been getting a lot of vibrations through my heart, heart between my heart chakra, crown chakra, and my third eye. So a lot of things have been popping off. I've been able to see stuff. And it's just like sending my gifts straight through the roof. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Drop me a line and let me know if you've been going through any crazy situations over the weekend. I hope you have a blessed, enjoyable weekend. Uh, much love to you. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line and let me know if you resonate. Share, thumbs up. Tell people about the channel. Maybe they need to find stuff out about themselves as well. And I will see you on my next video. I'm going to give a post notification shout out to um, one of my new soul sisters. She got her new channel out. You know, I'm going to go ahead and put post her link also as well y'all so you can go ahead and stop by our channel and send her some love and let her know that i sent you there oh goodness if i can find my my page oh cat low um and i'm gonna go ahead and uh put a link in for her channel as well and sydney ann much love to you miss you i'm glad everything is all well i hope all is well i'm glad you dropped a, a message for me to be able to know everything good so i'll see you on my next video much love peace